You know, I entered last weekend with some doubt and uncertainty. Why? Because on Friday, I had my second booster. This is the new Moderna uh, bivalent uh, Omicron vaccine. How would my body react? My previous three jabs were Pfizer. Okay, So it's like I've been taking Pharmanex all along and suddenly now I'm trying Herbalife. How will my body react? Okay. Uh, then when I went there, uh, this was Amokyo ITE, there was no waiting time, no crowds at all. It's like I go to Elisha and Hock Seng's restaurant and there's no one there. You know, does it give me confidence? You know, somehow uh, I don't have to pay for it, it's free and no one wants it. So, you know, there were all these doubts. How would I uh, react in this, this weekend? And COVID-19, you know, and the rise of cases in Singapore uh, is only one of the many problems that we have in the world today, which is why I'm asking this question. Is the world in a mess? And of course, you you know, many of you will say the world has always been messy uh, from creation. Okay? So let me share my thoughts from my personal experiences in, in the last weekend. Okay. Uh, I, let me share my screen, okay? Okay, so my question is, you know, is the world in a mess? And of course, you know, right, at the, at, at, right in front of us now is all the chaos that's happening in, in Britain, you know, coming straight after the long Ukraine problems and all the problems that, that we have. Uh, so let me short share my thoughts. Okay. This was the, the vaccination that I, I had very, very quick. Okay, so the first <clears throat> thing I want to talk about is mindset. And it's not just mindset, it's my mindset. We have just been through uh, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich in the last four months. And the key idea behind the whole book is that thoughts are things. What you think is what you get. So, you know, at its, at its simplest level, I always talk about you know, there's this cup. Is it half full or is it half empty? You know, what's uh, your mindset? So I, I was looking forward to the weekend because you know the dogs were going to go to Bukit Brown. And this is Ganesh who organizes the, this whole thing. He says, good morning all. I'm thinking of a Bukit Brown walk on Saturday. Interested? See you at Kiam Hock Road. So my first question is, we'll be there. Hope it's wet and muddy. I, I love it when it's wet and muddy. And you know what? The weather forecast uh, was for thunderstorms at 8 o'clock. We start uh, just before. Uh, 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 eight o'clock. Okay, so uh, this is what we, we talk about: carrying your own weather. Okay, so you know, I decide whether the weather is gonna make it make me happy or, or make me unhappy. You know, and that's that's the classical mindset we you know we talk about. Okay, and so you know, this is what we saw: habit one, be proactive. Okay, habit one, be proactive, meaning I'm in charge of me. I'm in charge of my thoughts. And I think this is one key thought okay, in habit one, that this is the last human freedom. We talk so much about freedom, okay? but habit one is the last human freedom, the power to choose your response to any uh, condition. Okay? So the mess can be outside in the world, but you control the mess that's in your mind. So that's mindset. Okay? Now, the second uh, Thing I want to talk about is enjoyment. So I told you I went to Bukit Brown with uh, uh, with the with the dogs. Okay, so we did a good route. So just for pure exercise, this is Bukit Brown. We walked uh, inside the, uh, uh, the the jungle. It's quite an amazing place. Okay, so this is uh, the group of us. That's Ganesh here and a lot of uh, Amor there. Um, it should be all rich back, but we had this uh, this. This white dog. Not only is it a different dog, but also different color. Okay. And um, you know, it's quite a quite a place. Alfred should explore there. There are six of these abandoned cars there, and it can be quite thick. Okay, see, so you only see the dog's backside there. Okay. It's a little bit intimidated by the, the big guy. That's Suri Bucking.
So, you know, it really makes us uh, happy when we see the dogs enjoying themselves. Now, listen. How are you doing? I just see a spider web here, so you've not been doing a yeah, job. No. You know, you know, so I, I, I just want to refund. It's no, only, I'm, it's a, a, I'm sure they're looking. It's only for tall people to get it. There is a giant spider web right here. I, so, I yeah. want my refund now, right? I saw a snake. Yeah. What did you see? A snake. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. There you go. John. Sorry. John. Hey. John. Yeah. You see, I brought, I brought Moses along. Nice. Moses. Oh, <laughs> she's going to part the red sea. Or what's this? Slip in. No, it's just a question. Oh, what's, um, where did you see that? It's just on the path that we were like, walking by. Oh, God. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Oh. So Zuri is barking because, you know, her idea of fun is you chase her and this dog doesn't want to chase. Okay. So, you know, here you see, um, we wanted wet, we wanted muddy, you know, but some people don't like wet and muddy, uh, but they also are afraid of the sun. So, you know, you're afraid of wet, you're afraid of sun, how much fun do you miss out on? And, you know, this dog, uh, um, Luna. You know, obviously, she didn't want to miss out on fun. She's not afraid of getting dirty. This is a before after <laughs> picture. Okay, she loves the mess. Okay, so how do you face the mess? You know, you can decide. You're gonna make have fun, whatever it is. Then after that, um, we I came back, you know, washed up the dog, I washed myself up. And then we had a long, long lunch. Okay, we had a lunch, three courses, but not in one place, but in three places. So the first is we had. We went to first stop. We went to Take Yi Market uh, in Amokyo, and we, you know, bought this tapau, this stuffed chicken wings, special chicken wings. Okay, then we brought it to this obscure place uh, in Tuapayo, Jackson Square, where Chef Kang has got this incredible uh, wonton meat, thick pieces of uh, char siu, and so much pork lard, unlimited pork lard if you want, you know, and great. great. So that was our second stop. So we. You know, we were there as a family. The only one not there is Chris. Okay, uh, Chris got important business on weekends. So we just we, we tap out the stuffed chicken wings. We had that. We had the one ton. So that was the second course. And then the third course, uh, we went to another place in Topayo, place called Creamia Ice Cream and Coffee. And we had, I tell you, we had the most incre I had the most incredible waffle uh, I've ever had. Okay, I must bring you guys. Uh, there one day and so that's a picture of us and I, I like to caption this you know these are moments of happiness okay, we do not remember the days we remember moments so you know always create memorable moments you know it's fun family okay. and so that was a uh, that was a lot of fun okay although I normally like to go to one place quickly eat everything and a chabot but this was this was memorable yeah, GP, third course is the, the best. <laughs> okay. So that was enjoyment. Okay. Now, third thing I want to talk about is service. Okay. What was my experience with service uh, over the weekend? So Nick celebrated his 50th birthday. And uh Hui Xuan first, you know, announced, of course, I I I I messaged Nick uh, uh, <coughs> early in the morning, then Hui Xuan announced it, and then Sharon decided. I have ordered gift set from Philip Cool for Nick's birthday. Would you like to share it? So, you know, it made me okay. So this was the gift set that uh, it was sent to Nick. Okay. So it made me think, uh, what is service? What is servant leadership? Okay. And here we see uh, basically it's seeing the value in a person, it's seeing a value uh, in a relationship. Okay. How do we see that? I mean, you know, it's the ability to see that in a person. You, you can see so many things wrong in a person. You can choose to see what is right in a person, what is valuable about a relationship. And then this was Sharon recognizing, you know, she has a responsibility to give, not to just take, take, take. Every time we are in a relationship, it's for me to take. No, if in my relationship, uh, I have a responsibility, I have opportunity to, to give. and. Um, you know, uh, when there's a mess, we're talking about messy world, you know, there's an opportunity for me to, to clear it up. And really, you know, mess is an opportunity to serve. In New Skin, we are problem solvers. If there's no problem, <laughs> there's no problem to solve, there's no passive income, okay? 
so that's um, that's what I learned from from Sharon. I'm reminded about service servant uh, relationship, and then you know this is Sharon. She's got this game, okay, this TR ninety prospecting game, um, where every day she's going to talk to three people and then submit this this list. Um, and when I when I saw that uh, Saturday night, you know, I, I I was I was thrilled. I was thrilled because you know this is a, a commitment of a servant. Okay. Um, why do I say commitment? Okay. Because you know, end of the day, <laughs> a servant is dependable. You know, a servant is dependable uh, because ultimately it's about service. You know, why do you go to a place? Because the service is consistent. You know, if I go to the ice cream place and sometimes they want to serve, sometimes they don't, sometimes it's open, sometimes it's closed. No, there's, there's nowhere you can be the best, but you're, you're not dependable, it's, it's no use. And servanthood is ultimately about others, about not, not about self. Okay. So, you know, when we, when we share about things, when we prospect, really at the back of the mind, uh, I'm doing this because I'm creating something for my family. I'm doing this because I really want to, you know, end of the day, be in a position where I can help people uh, because I choose to. Okay, so that was a that was a very good reminder that uh, service uh, is is important in a world that's messy. Okay, then of course, uh, I thought about sunrise. Okay, why do I think about sunrise? Yeah, Boon King, that's right. Civil servants to serve people. Okay. Okay. Because, and remember, it's sunrise, uh, not sunshine. Okay. The fact that the sun will rise every day, every day I can have certainty that the sun will rise. And every time the sun rises, uh, it gives me hope. So uh, it's very interesting. Four years ago, when we started motiva Motivational Monday, I had this logo of the sun. Intuitively, you know, sun is the thing that gives us hope, gives us certainty. Okay, it's bright. Okay. So I want to share, end by sharing a few uh, quotes uh, on sunshine. Okay. Sapna Reddy said, We can only appreciate the miracle of a sunrise if we have waited in the darkness. So if you have been in a mess, you're stuck down there, uh, you know, it's a blessing because then you can appreciate uh, sunrise. Okay? And you see it as a miracle, not just as taken for granted. Bernard Williams said, there was never a night or a problem that could defeat sunrise or hope. There was never a night or a problem that could defeat sunrise or hope. John Muir, okay, how glorious a greeting the sun gives the mountains. You know, when you're out there in the cold, sleeping through the night, waiting for sun to come, oh, glorious it is. Okay. And the sun is the what we see in the mountain. Oprah Winfrey said, what I know for sure is that every sunrise is like a new page, a chance to write ourselves and receive each day in all its glory. Each day is a wonder. We start a new Every sunrise is an invitation for us to arise and brighten someone's day. And that's what you know Sharon did, initiated for Nick. Okay, brighten someone's day. And of course, you know, for those of us who are old enough to remember the Beatles, here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Here comes the sun. And I say it's all right. So, you know. We choose our response. Uh, we choose our response to let me see if I got uh, to the mess. And I've shared just to remind yourselves. I've shared. First of all, it's your mindset. Enjoyment. Seek enjoyment. Make things happy, enjoyable. It's about service. It's an opportunity to serve. And remember, sunrise is a certainty. It will get better.